And that is how you pack a U-Haul view. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well today we are at the Goodwill in Westminster. And it probably looks like I was crying because I I realized I probably couldn't hide it. Um, I stopped at an antique mall on the way here. It was, um, it was Memory Lane Antique Market. I went in, I got permission to film, and I started filming for about 10 minutes. It was really exciting. And then the male owner came up to me and started berating me. And I was in tears and he told me I needed to get thicker skin. I mean, I've got some pretty thick skin, but when somebody's standing in my face yelling at me, he wanted to review the footage I'd filmed there. It was probably the worst experience I've ever had in an antique mall. And I don't like putting antique malls down because I understand there's lots of vendors there that depend on, but like, this was the worst experience. And looking at their other reviews, this is a common trend. Like, he just yells at people, yells at customers. So, I'm putting it out there. <laughs> The, the worst, most humiliating, horrible experience I've ever had in an antique mall. I cried the whole way here to Goodwill. I told Andrew, I'm going home. I'm not going to Goodwill. And he told me, nope, go to Goodwill, film your video, turn your day around. So we're here. We're going to make the best of it. We're going to go into Goodwill. We're going to find some treasures. See what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. And at the end of this video, I have some exciting news for you guys. Like, some news that I'm excited about. So, I'll share that with you guys at the end of this video. I gotta, like, whew, gotta stop crying so I can go shopping. All right, well, the music is a little bit loud, but we're gonna try our best to uh, film <laughs> around it. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot on the shelves today, so I'm not sure if maybe today is not a shelf stocking day. I know certain days they stock the shelves. What is this? Oh, it's broken. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's pretty cool looking. Oh, is that a party light sticker? No, maybe. Oh, Ezreal. Unfortunately, it's got a giant chunk out of it. Hey, look, it's the praying hands. I guess that means I win. I've got this here. What is Oh, that's made to look like it's old, but it's not. This is an interesting um, piece of artwork. It's eight dollars and forty-nine cents, but it's definitely vintage, and it's kind of got a mid-century modern look to it. It's cork. You can see on the back that it's got some age. <laughs> the cork usually you can tell the cork starts to get a little brittle with age. I think I'm gonna stick that in my cart and make that my first item. I like it. Maybe a little polish there on the wood where the scratches are will fix it up nice. I'm gonna go down this aisle because I see a little bit of Halloween down here. And the last time we had decent luck um, in the holiday section, I actually found some Murano. But again, the shelves look pretty sparse today. So, not seeing much. This long-legged Santa is interesting, and I feel like I've seen him before. I don't know if he's like a Hallmark guy or what's going on here, but he's $3.49. Um, sometimes for holiday stuff, I'll make an exception on my vintage roll. I just think he's pretty fun. I don't know what's going on with his legs here. His legs are kind of wrapped in ribbon. But I like his, <laughs> I like the long-legged Santa. So I think I'll stick him in there. I did walk right by this. What does it say? Atlantic Mold. So this is one of the hobbyist pieces. The other day we actually found a uh, Lepton piece, which don't have a tremendously uh, high resale value, but I can like that trivet too. All right. Oh look, there's a Ray Dunn piece. I could use that for my desk. I could actually put some of my pens in there. I guess it's for paint brushes. <laughs> I could put my pens in there. Use that on my desk. That looks like it's from Portugal. Let's check out the bag. It says, made in Portugal, hand painted William Sonoma. I mean, that's a really big piece, but that might actually be worth it. Wait, what is the price? I forgot I gotta keep an eye on the prices here. I actually don't see a price on that. Maybe we'll grab it and see if they can uh, give us a price up front. I don't know how this 
Goodwill is about pricing stuff that doesn't have stickers. We've also got this cookie jar for 13. I'm gonna set this down here. Let's look at his butt. He doesn't have anything on his butt, but I like the spongeware design on him. He's a little spendy, but I feel like I could double my money on that. And I'm not afraid to pay up on, look at this. I know the seat, I'm gonna fix it right now. I've got bad news. The new Goodwill carts don't have a seat that goes up. So we're just gonna have to make do. Here is a hobbyist made um, phone holder. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, a phone holder, but it's got kitties on it, which are kind of cute. Sango, that Sango stuff usually gets me. I love the shape of it. Lines. What do we have down here? That's a pretty pattern. Noritake Milford pattern. All right, I love her very much. I think she's fantastic. She is a great mid-century piece. And uh, yeah, she's heavy. I think she's made out of chalk. Leonard Art. I think we need her, but I don't see a price on, oh, $17.49. Well, shoot. It's a little spendy, but um, I think she's probably, I mean, I could double my money on her. So I think I'm gonna grab her as well. All right, so let's check and see what else is here. I've got this little coconut guy. And um, not really seeing much else. I mean, there's lots of shelving and stuff, but that's not really stuff that I need or I'm interested in. I did check through on this side. Oh, look at this little basset hound. <laughs> He's plastic, but I, I, I should grab this. Um, a lot of you are still ask. You've been asking if I still send stuff to the Basset Hound Rescue. I, I spoke with Donna, who uh, runs the Basset Hound Rescue, and she told me she's been overwhelmed with stuff. And so um, I've been holding off sending her stuff recently, but I'll check with her and see if she needs any new stuff. Looks like there is some damage there on the top. It's so cute, though. <laughs> if she needs, if she's in need of stuff to auction off for the rescue, I will absolutely send that to her. And I did glance through here looking for the glassy babies and I did not see any. I thought, you know what, wouldn't that just be amazing if I came across a glassy baby? But today is not my day. Look at that, we've got a, oh, it's got a crack on it. It is a lobster plate, but unfortunately it does have damage. Well, I'm gonna get a look here at the figurine shelves and see what I can find. Unfortunately, it looks like this little puppy dog may have been decapitated at one point in time and his head was glued back on. We've got that stone bowl right there, but his horn is damaged. That's kind of a fun piece. Oh, party light. They got a lot of party light stuff here today, I noticed. I'm seeing lots of party light boxes on the shelves. Well, I just noticed this guy on the shelf and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a petal missing there on the top. I just noticed actually, I didn't notice when I picked it up because I felt all around the little um, leaves there. There's no mark on the bottom. That sticker makes me think it may have had a made in uh, China or made in Japan sticker, but I love the three dimensional look of it and I love the flowers on it. So it is $7.49, which again is a little spendy. Uh, but you know, if it was at, any, at an antique mall, I'd pay that for it, and that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm going on right now. You know, I pay that price in an antique mall, so I guess I'll pay it at the Goodwill. Oh, this is an interesting piece. I wonder what kind of sticker that would have had. Oh, Stockholm, Ikea. You know, these Ikea pieces can, uh, can do pretty well. I don't know if all that staining on it is like water damage, if it can be polished off, but that's a nice centerpiece for a table. Look at all these big things. Walter and Kate are gonna be like, no, nah, <laughs> they're gonna be thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. But I do have a plan um, for the lady and the chalk. So um, this, I don't know, maybe we could ship that because it's not, it's not breakable really. You'd have to try really hard to break that. Well, apparently they're in the process of restocking. Check this out. They're putting some good stuff out. Carve craft. 
<laughs> Parker. I like it, but the crazing on it is just a little too intense for me, unfortunately. I think it's gonna be a, a little too much discoloration. But it, I mean, they are, they are nice. I think I'm going to take this doggy bowl though. <laughs> it is fun. Here, we've got another nice piece. Ooh, I like that. What is that? Royal Winton. <laughs> It's such a shame, it's got that discoloration on it. Oh, it's a bummer, 349. Ah, it's got, I mean, that's some pretty bad crazy. Okay, ah, I just love the yellow. But I love the yellow, but this up here is actually why I turned the camera on. It's made in Romania, it is clear glass. Um, but I love the feet on it. You know what? That yellow is just so great. And if you filled that with like balls, <laughs> isn't that the new decorating trend to fill bowls with balls? Um, I think that that might be able to become a thing. So I'm gonna buy it. I guess I'm kind of going on a buying spree. It's my mood currently. This is kind of a sweet little uh, piece of artwork. <laughs> it's the cat in a bag. $5.49. I bet I could get 20 for that, maybe more. This, what is that down there? It is a forest. I don't, I think that is a photograph. I don't really know much about photographs. I don't really know much about paintings either. All right, well, our total spend there at the Goodwill was $89. Now I am somewhere new, someplace I have never taken you guys before, someplace I don't really talk about. I'm at the auction. <laughs> I'm at the auction doing a pickup with Andrew, and I'm gonna show you guys a few of the pieces we got. I don't normally do this, but we're gonna do it today. That's so beautiful. You just wrapped the other one. That's beautiful. Wowzers, look at that beauty. That's real early Moser. It's stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this, I thought was Monchois. Uh, that might be Moser as well. Because I thought it was etched, but I'm seeing now that it's actually painted. It's a beautiful piece. And I'll, I'll show you the other one too. <laughs> it's a pink opaline with grapes and uh, the pink on it. And that's beautiful. Really pretty pieces. Those are really nice. Yeah, they'll be good in the booth. Yeah, wow, I like them. Does it have a key? Probably not. No, it's still really nice. This one's got some fancy to it. I gotta show this cat. Oh, that thing's massive. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Kate pointed this out and um, she was gonna bid on it and then she put in her max bid and got out bid and so I ended up picking up where she left off and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep down at the shop. It's gonna watch her pack packages. We're not gonna sell it, it's just gonna watch her. It's gonna give her a, a boost of morale, I think, right? I hope so. It's her supervisor. This is now Kate's supervisor. Well, this is one of them right here. And I think the other one's right here. Do you think they're gonna fit in there? I hope so. Okay. So we bought this right, we're in the shop now. awesome mid-century server. And this, which is a dresser. But I think it's really, I mean, that could be used as a buffet too. I mean, I mean maybe not. I like that it's got the doors on it. Yeah, but they open two more drawers. drawers. It's a really neat piece. We're seeing some sell in the thousands. I mean, we're obviously not gonna put that price on it, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, okay, all right, don't hang on. Go ahead, cover it up. We'll see it when it's done. There it goes, bye bye. And that is how you pack a U-Haul view. But hey, the good news is our truck was delivered to the dealership this morning. So we're gonna go pick it up later this afternoon. I almost forgot my sand art painting. I absolutely love this so much. I almost missed it in the auction. It's Joe Ben Jr., I think, right? Joe Ben Jr., yes. Um, his work usually sells in the few hundred range, but also I saw one or two of his works sell in the thousands. 
And so I saw that and I was like, you know what, that is really cool painting. And it is sand art, but um, it's really amazing. So I was really excited to get that. <laughs> Here is the new truck that we waited a month for. I think it's worth the wait though. It's really nice. And it's not just the extended cab, it's actually like Ew! a full cab. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of room in the back seat. Yeah, there is. I was actually really surprised. It's going to be great for Holland stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's got storage underneath here. We won't have to rent as many U-Haul vans, and uh, I think we got to get a bed See, we liner. we got its own vent controls in the back for AC and stuff. And then there's um, air blow, airflow through there. Yeah, it's gonna be a good truck. But this will flip up, and then we have all this basically for hall space too. It's perfect so, for what we need. Yeah. We've needed this for a long time. We just gotta get the rails on there because it's, it's, it's a the little same iffy. Color. It's the same color now that I see it in the sun yeah. as the 2004 Dodge Ram I used to have. There you go. But mine was only a 1500. This is what hard work and patience gets you? This is what hard work and patience gets you. <laughs> Nice thing. <laughs> now, I promised you at the beginning of this video that I had some exciting news for all of you. And that is that, first of all, the Whitco furniture has sold. Yes, it's going to Canada. It's going to Canada to an Elvis impersonator. So it is on transport to Canada, which is super <laughs> exciting. I'm a little sad. I kind of like put my do not sell price on it and it's still sold. Which is a it's little going bit, to a good home. It is going, going to a good, a good home. home. Somebody who's really going to appreciate He's it. actually modeling the room around the furniture. Around the furniture. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to a good place. I'm happy about that. But, to follow that up, I am going to take over that little nook there where we had the Whitco furniture set up. So, that is going to now become my little booth space. I couldn't handle the last booth space but this one is literally right across the street from our shop be so a lot easier to it, I think it's gonna be easier to manage and um, I'm gonna give it another go I'm gonna give it another shot so a lot of the big items you saw me picking up today that was what I had in mind and I've already decided I'm going to model it after mid-century because you guys know that's what I love so we picked up those two really big mid-century pieces of furniture I've got rugs at the shop. I've got a lot of big pieces. I'm going to start thinning out some of my own collection, some of my swan glass vases, some of the pottery I've accumulated. And um, I want to get rid of a lot of the stuff I have in my own collection. And so that's what kind of inspired this, is I don't want to ship my swan vases and my big pieces of pottery. I have like that massive Hager vase I got a while back at Lemoyne. I just want to get rid of stuff. I want to cleanse. So I think I'm going to use this uh, booth space as a way to cleanse and uh, get rid of some stuff. So that was the exciting news. So we're gonna actually work on that tomorrow. So in tomorrow's video, you'll get to see us bringing stuff over there and kind of staging it and putting some stuff in there. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, we're gonna get out of here now. I think we're gonna take the family out to eat in this bad boy. <laughs> and uh, I'll see all of you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.